Greetings and welcome to Yoga for Life. I'm Deb and I will be guiding you through our weekly Sunday meditation. The date is November the 14th, 2021. And as usual, I'm thrilled you've decided to join me for something that is so important to help relieve our stress and our anxiety um, in our daily routine meditation. So welcome. So today our focus for our meditation will be to activate the vagus nerve. Uh, and this is often called the gut brain. So it's the longest nerve in the body. There are actually two of them. And they reach from the brain all the way down into the stomach or the abdomen. And that's why we call it the gut brain. That's that um, gut instinct that we feel or that deep sense of intuition when we've activated this nerve. And we can do it by a, a single-minded focus uh, with a, a silent mantra, which I'll give you. We can activate it with chanting, which we'll do as we come out of our meditation to keep it activated for uh, being proactive in life rather than reactive. And we can also hum the seed sound for the throat chakra, our chakra for communication, the Shuddha. And that chanting seed sound is hum. And so we'll do that at the beginning of class or beginning of our time together to meditate to activate the vagus nerve. We can also take a mudra to help keep us focused and in the parasympathetic nervous system, which keeps the vagus nerve system activated. So breath, humming, chanting, and uh, humming to activate the throat chakra. And then I'll also sound the, the Tibetan bowl to begin the practice and to end the practice. So those are our focal points, and I'll also be sharing some poetry from you by Emily Dickinson on nature. So as always, comfort is queen. So feather your nest, get comfortable lying down or sitting, and um, allow yourself to relax down through the shoulders, engage upward through the support of the pelvic floor and the core to sustain your seated posture, or even your supine posture. And then slowly allow the lids to drop down, relax the face, close the mouth, relaxing the tongue and jaws, and begin connecting to your breath. Just being the observer of the movement of your breath and what it's doing currently. So our silent mantra is Kshama, K-S-H-A-M-A, -A, Kshama. And this is to activate our level of patience and discipline. And of course, di discipline leads to the attribute of patience. Our mudra, our hand gesture, will also aid in developing patience and discipline. So we bring the middle finger to the thumb tip, extending the remaining fingers. So you can open your eyes if you need to, to see what that looks like. Palms facing up, and you can rest the mudra into the lap or onto the thighs or knees. And then we'll begin activating the vagus nerve as I ring the Tibetan bowl.
back to the breath. Either close the right nostril gently with your index finger of the right hand or visualize closing that nostril as we begin to balance the cerebral hemispheres, the left and the right side. So we'll take three deep inhales, exhales through the left nostril. And opening the right nostril and closing the left with your index finger of the left hand or visualize closing that nostril and taking three deep inhale exhales through the right nostril. And now we'll chant the seed sound for the Shuddha, the throat chakra, which is hum, H-A-M, pronounced H-U-M. Taking a deep nostril inhale. Hum. Hum. the silence, into the silence, into the silence.
Mother Nature from her Nature series of poems by Emily Dickinson. Nature, the gentlest mother, impatient of no child. The feeblest are the way wardest. Her admonition mild in forest and the hill by traveler is heard, restraining rampant squirrel or too impetuous bird how fair her conversation, a summer afternoon. Her household, her assembly, and when the sun goes down, her voice among the aisles incites the timid prayer of the minutest cricket, the most unworthy flower. When all the children sleep, she churns as long away as will suffice to light her lamps. Then bending from the sky, with infinite affection and more infinite care. Her golden finger on her lip wills silence everywhere. Mother Nature by Emily Dickinson. Bringing the hands into Anjali Mudra. We'll seal our practice with Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Remember, if you want to activate the vagus nervous system, or the vagus nerve, rather, you can always hum or chant. Beginning with a deep nostril inhale. Om Shanti. Shanti, Shanti. Until we meet again, be well, be kind, and be safe. And thank you so much for joining us for this week's Sunday meditation. Remember, we are all just walking each other home. Ram Das. Namaste.